Welcome to Job4, my name is George and today I'm going to show you how to send a PDF template based on the answer. This is useful when you want to send a specific PDF depending on the answer that you received. So follow me to my desktop to show you how right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating our PDF templates. So let's hover over the form that we want to work with. Go to more, create PDF document, and this will open up the PDF editor. Now in this section, we will create our PDFs. So for example, we'll call this one, for example, marketing, select our layout, let's create. And now it loads up the PDF editor. This is where we're going to fine tune our PDF the way we want it to look. In this case, we'll just change the header to marketing, just so we know which one we're using at the end when we do the automation. Next, let's create a new PDF. This one will be called social media. Select the layout. All right, so let's name this social media. And one more for testing purposes. This one will be called email marketing. Select layout and create. Let's name it email marketing. So in this case, we created three PDFs. And in this case, we're just kind of saying that depending on the answer that we received, we're going to send out the specific PDF that we created here. Okay. So once we're ready, let's go back to our job form. Let's go to the form that we just selected. So it's this one right here. Let's edit the form. Okay, this is a form that we're gonna use to send the specific PDF template based on the answer. We're gonna use this single choice section to send out the PDF. So depending on the answer that we received here, it's the PDF that we're going to send out. So for example, we have the marketing one. We have this one, email marketing was the second one and social media. So depending on these is the PDF that we're going to send out. Let's go into settings, go to emails, and we're gonna set up our autoresponders. Let's work with the first one that we have here. Let's click on the pencil, go to advance, and we're gonna select PDF attachment. We're gonna select it on. We're going to select the PDF that we want to send out based on this autoresponder. So in this case, we'll say marketing, and let's rename it so we know which one it is. Marketing, let's go ahead and save it. Let's create another autoresponder and we're going to rename this one social media. Let's apply that advance enable PDF. And in this case, we'll select the social media PDF. Let's save it. And the last autoresponder, which is email marketing, supply it advance PDF. And let's select this one and save. So now we have our three autoresponders. Now to designate the PDF, depending on the answer that we received, we have to use conditional logic. So let's go into conditions. Let's go into change email recipient and let's select right here. So this is where we work with conditional logic. If this happens, do that. Okay. So if the PDF that we select is equal to, for example, marketing, we're going to send out the email that we just created the autoresponder for marketing. Okay. Let's save that again. Another condition change email recipient again. If the PDF is equal to email marketing, we're going to choose the email marketing autoresponder let's save. And the last one again, change email recipient. If the PDF is equal to social media, we will be sending out the social media PDF. Now we have our three conditional logics. So depending on the answer that we receive, we're going to send out a specific PDF that we've previously set up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test it. It's going to publish, open a new tab. Okay. Let's fill it out. Let's select marketing PDF for this one. The area we will just say sales and the email. Let's submit it. And there you go. Now let's go check out our email. Okay. Here's the email that we just received. We have our response from the form and we have attached a PDF. Now you can see this one is for Aguilar marketing. Let me open this and we received the PDF that's designated based on the answer. So in this case, we selected marketing as the answer and we received the PDF for marketing. Well, there you go. That is how we activate a PDF template based on the answer. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.